Hello and welcome to the select board meeting for March 28th, 2023. I have to call this meeting to order. I, I can't. We have the full board president, town manager, town clerk. Let us stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First, we have the approval of our meeting minutes from March 21st, 2023. I will make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Second it. Any further discussion? Yeah, just a note. Um, the footer was wrong. It said March, or it said February something, but the signed copy says March 21st. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. All right. So, um... All favor with the with, with the, the corrections. Yeah. All those in favor? And Mark was not here. All right. First, we have public comment. There's no public to comment. Anybody online? Anybody? No. Nope. Nobody's online. No. Any member of the board want to act as the public? Anybody? Good. I will close the first public comment. We have no public hearings. We have no reports of committees. We have no department reports. We have an appointment of Sherry Clement for the Recreation Commission as an alternate for a one-year term. Well, guessing you are. <laughs> 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 Please. 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 I own Primal Fit across the street um, at the edge, and I'm interested in being an alternate um, member of the Recreation Commission. Um, I'm interested in helping the community become, you know, more engaged and active and well. Um, so that's why. Terrific. Um, I've seen your work on Facebook. Looks looks like a fun place. Looks like an active place. A lot of people go in there early in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, my biggest class is 5.15. Crazy. Yeah, that's that's, that's what awesome. I saw. I was like, ugh, 5 <laughs> o'clock. Uh, it's a bit early for me. Um, terrific. Um, yes, yeah, so we have a full commission right now. This is an alternate member. Um, so if somebody leaves, then you bump up to regular member, but you still get to participate in mm -hmm. um, active discussion, stuff like that. Um, does anybody have any questions for Sherry? Are you a resident of Berwick? I'm a resident of North Berwick. Of North Berwick. Lifetime resident of North Berwick. Oh, North Berwick. Noble alum, all that good stuff. Have you done any work with um, government recreation uh, activities before? I have not. So this is a new foray for you? It is. Perfect. Um, do you have any kids in the rec programs at all? I do not. I only have an adult uh, child, and so, um, but I have, you know, we uh, helped coach basketball and soccer when she was younger, so, um, and for my niece, who's four and a half, I help coach uh, basketball for her as well, so I'm active, um, but no, I've never done anything like a rec department before. Oh, we appreciate you uh, willing to volunteer your time. Not a lot of people do that anymore. Yeah, I So to be involved and engaged is, um, for the community is appreciated. Absolutely. Thank you. I re really would like to see more, ac more engagement throughout the community in wellness programs and um, of all ages. I have a specific passion about seniors, and if you've seen anything that I'm doing at the gym, a lot of it is around... Um, seniors and um, you know uh, I become was going to ask you that because we hear about a lot of stuff for kids and regular people going out to the gym 
So you have specific programs at Target? I do. I have a Legends class. We have two classes. It's three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's specifically for um, low impact, limited mobility, 65 and over. Um, uh, and it's an hour-long class. Uh, I had one. I had to, I just recently um, put on a second class because it's so popular. So nice. that's been that's great. Awesome. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. No, I think that's something Linda and I talk about a lot, of, a lot up here, but I've yeah. talked about with Josh is, you know, I think it's easy to assume recreation is just kids' youth sports, right. and it really ties into everything, and especially with a community that is, yes, it's young and growing, and I have young kids that are in the program, but also on the other side of that, we have many seniors in town. Um, we talk about Berwick for a Lifetime at the library and how that ties in the rack. That's and right. I think that exactly. that's just something else that goes right into it. And, and yeah. again, you know, thank you for wanting to be a part of it. Because thank we you. Do need if, more. I, if I can add one more thing, the other thing I'd love to see is um, yeah, I was, I've been a caregiver for 10 years for my father. And I think that's another thing that a lot of people in the community are doing, you know, middle-aged, yep. um, uh, taking on elderly parents or, or seniors or even your spouse as a uh, caregiving role. And I think there's a lot we can do to really help them with their, um, you know, the social aspect of wellness, emotional aspect of wellness. So those are some of the things that I'm passionate about um, pri primarily. I, I have a question more for the town manager and the clerk, do we have a policy about residents and commissions and committees? I just, James just looked up the commit, the uh, rec commission policy. I know, I, we, 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 so we have appointed committee, there's different degrees of boards. So Envision Broke, we don't have anything like that. I know with select, select board and planning board, um, but it's in, it's in the bylaws. Right. right. I don't think there's anything yeah, in the rec. Yeah. I'm there just I'm no double one. checking the rec commission ordinance right now. I haven't I don't see anything about resident. No, I don't I don't have a problem with you being I serving. I, anybody who wants to volunteer, I'm more than welcome <laughs> yeah, to bring them in. No, but I don't want to just make sure. You no, know, if it's a policy, we have to change. I just yeah. wonder if maybe you want to have Josh's opinion on it first. Maybe table yeah. it did until Josh, the next did Josh meeting. Josh her to, to come. No, he wasn't aware of this. Okay. So. No. So it typically would go through the department head. We would get a letter of intent. Yeah. And for some reason that didn't happen. Not your fault <laughs> yeah, at all, okay. Jerry. Yeah. Um, but maybe <clears throat> we should ask Josh his feelings on a non-resident sitting on the commission. But she's a business in town. I was just going to ask yes. that yes. that could yes. be yes. considered. I that I'm a, I think and I was going to say, especially yeah, well, where. Yeah. yeah. Well, like they said, I just want to make sure we don't cross any policy. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that's no, right. if, we, if we have a policy, maybe we should look at amending it. If there is no policy violation, I can't imagine that Josh is going to have an issue with anyone trying to volunteer to help. But you are uh, right. It should go through him. I'll make a motion that we table this then for now. Yeah, just so that we get clarity because mm. we don't want to violate anything. And if we have to, we can change it. But... Is that a second? That's a second. <laughs> <laughs> so please, uh, please don't read into it other than procedural. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely well, I, understand. Anybody who wants to volunteer, we come on down. We, <laughs> out, but we can't violate our own policy, so let's just get clarity on it. And I think otherwise, unless we have further questions, you wouldn't have to come back to, to answer yeah. any. Okay. We can we can make a, a vote as soon as we just have clarity on the rules. Okay, right. excellent. So, you're all those to come in back favor anytime of you'd like, but <laughs> yeah. necessarily, yeah, we just yeah, need to get we don't need, we don't need to do it a, another question and answer. I, I think I think it'd be great to have you. Um, it, all in favor of tabling this until we get clarity? All right. So we will uh, discuss this as soon as we get clarity on it. And um, yeah. hopefully, I, 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 hopefully in a couple of weeks. I can envision that we'll see you again shortly as you know, as a member unless we find something otherwise. So. Okay, great. But thank we you. really appreciate it. So. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Yep, thank, thank you. you. No, that's a no 515 workout for you? No, no 515 <laughs> workout. <laughs> that is, that is the struggle of my life, let me tell you. All right, um, we have no unfinished business. Uh, town manager's report. At the report, there's an exciting development with a new group in town with actual new people on a new committee for once rather than recycling the same people. <laughs> uh, 
And with this group, SMPDC is assisting. This is part of the community resilience project and the um, declaration that the board uh, signed a last meeting. Um, and th with this project comes some funding. So $50,000 um, will be awarded to tackle a few different projects and different initiatives. Um, one of the projects is a community garden that the group has in mind. So I can go to a, a, a bunch of different projects. Uh, I can go to funding parks and anything in, uh, with that community resilience umbrella. SMPDC is helping with that grant, and they're also going to be helping with grant assistance to develop an open space plan. This plan will help identify properties to preserve, and this plan will be part of considerations during subdivision developments. For example, developers will have to pay attention to this open space plan, which in a lot of ways will take form of a map. So as they develop lots, this will help us to preserve strategic pieces of property, high value natural resources, uh, plants, species, wetlands, and large blocks of land that are contiguous. And uh, there's a theme here. There's a cleanup day that's being planned to kick off on Earth Day and will extend for a week. I um, met with Envision Burwick and the Rec Department and a local business and another volunteer to organize this. Um, so there will be some a competition and prizes and the events coming together. So it seems like it'll be a fun, productive event. That's all I have this evening. Terrific. Any questions for the town manager? The Berwick Cleanup Day has been a very good success, mm -hmm. a very good project for us the past couple of years. My wife is always excited to try to go outside and collect garbage. And <laughs> we always see people out there participating, and um, we hope to see more participation. I mean, whether it's just cleaning up your neighborhood, <laughs> cleaning up the road that you live on, or making it a competition to win prizes and really going all out. So um, it's a great program. Uh, we have no psych board communications. Uh, approval of the accounts payable and payroll warrants. We have just two this week. We have payroll warrant number 66 from uh, March 30th, 2023. And that is in the amount of $76,002.65. And we have an accounts payable warrant number 67 from March 28th, 2023 in the amount of $85,931.73. I make the motion that we pay our bills. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Terrific. The new business. Uh, first we have write-off requests. The first one is a personal property write-off request and also a water account request. Um, so the personal property is a total of $3,560.74. This is Belanger Paving who went on a business and did not report it to the assessors so that's why they were charged. Um, at this point, the recommendation is to right off this expense for the personal property account. So to be clear, they ceased business operations in 2022 and they did not inform the assessor Correct. that's the case. So they were continued to be charged in uh, absentia, essentially. Okay. In the, in just along with that, you had the, the one you said with the water. I'm trying to figure out how what the water bill was because there's no water up on Sincard Lane. <laughs> That's funny. It actually says unmetered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, Back from 2020. Well, it must, must have been for a job he was doing someplace, yep. and he tapped into the yep. hydrant. Was yep. that probably it then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that makes, makes sense. sense. So you can see there's <clears throat> kind of a regular, regularly build, and that would be indicative of, of an example like that. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to... Uh, Right off the account 
to uh, blend the payment that was uh, on the books erroneously. I second the motion. Any further discussion? Does that motion carry for both that and the water? Or do you need a second? Yes. That was my intent. Yes. It's so that is for both the the personal property and the uh, water bill. All those in favor? You know if I didn't ask, Patty was going to ask. So. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, all right, so the next is the summer camp. The total request is for 13981 uh, There's a good amount here that was DHHS, and there's some issues with paperwork, um, and then there's a variety of other other payments that have not come through. Um, so at this point, the recommendation is to write off these um, uncollectible amounts. Um, so these are, are considered uncollectible. Like there's nothing further to do. Uncollectible, and it would cost more to, I think, to go out. And it's it's not like a a, a business. It's people would be going after, right? Yeah. So. And then the, the legal expense to go after it becomes more than the amount we can recover. Uh, Mark brought up an interesting question. Um, if we write off these accounts, can uh, these the families that paid nothing toward this, you know, get back into summer camp again and do this again, or do they still have an outstanding balance that they would have to to or to address before they could enroll their kids in summer camp again? I think so. With some of these families, it's, it was an issue with DHHS funding. And I yes. think it's a, that's a different scenario than if there was someone that there wasn't an, a, a reason why that there wasn't a payment, they would have a note on their account. Okay. So they would have to, to pay it back if, if they wanted to re-enroll another child. I'm, I don't know the exact how that exactly works. Um, It's probably just as well. The kids are probably better off coming to wreck. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we write off, write off. I mean, I would almost say to make sure that that money's in full this year. Put some contingency plan in. I right. We talk about building the community and building wreck, and and, right. and part of me, as much as yes, it's money owed. Don't want to penalize the kids at this point. Right. No, you, you know, know. Right. don't want to penalize the kids, but the parents' actions have to have be. Some. I'll keep doing this every year. Correct, and, 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 and also we something. hire people for summer camp. We expend yeah. money to send kids to to do stuff. We buy a lot of supplies specifically for summer camp. Correct. So that's 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 you know my concern. I mean, if we, I, I think I, it's a good concern, but I I I, I think it's the only one that's going to hurt is the kid. Yeah. And I don't think that's good. I mean, I think there should be some contingency to make sure that it's no, paid yeah. paid up for this year. But, I mean, again, it's up to Josh, right? And I, I mean, and ultimately, I mean, it's, it's going to be his. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, <laughs> legitimately, the only, only four accounts didn't pay anything. Yeah. So, I mean, I just want to make sure that we, we're, <laughs> we're considering the situation, you know? I mean, like, that's just, it, it's been discussed. And, and I think the other part is just making sure that if there is DHHS payments in there that, we make sure it's someone at Rex following through with it this summer because it looks like some of this is really paperwork related. You know, yeah, administrative. And I mean, I can loss. I can understand that, especially last summer was a pretty some change, some over very it. hectic yes. situations going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, we have people in here complaining about there being trash in the field. We have the rec director out picking up trash at night, and then you know they got to go home and do paperwork for DHS and. Something's going to fall through the cracks somewhere, Correct. you know. Correct. So, um, having discussed it, um, does anybody want to enter yeah, a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion to waive the payments for summer camp 2022 and have that right now. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All right. The next is the approval of the Teamsters Union Fire Contract. The, uh, as you remember, the Teamsters Fire Unit was split off from the general unit. And the general unit was approved in December. And there is no real hang up or disagreement with this contract to get to this point. We had a general consensus in January. It just took some time to get the contract formatted 
and just for the union, the mediator, and our legal to review it and correct any typos or any omissions. And then get them to vote on it. Yep. yep. Um, I, I got, I, you got a copy of an email, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Um, any questions about the fire union contract? I'll make a motion that we approve the Teamsters Fire Union contract as presented to us. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All right. Um, we have certified ratio declarations on here. I've been told that the current version might have some, some typos that need to be corrected before we can approve it. Um, and the assessor will be here next meeting to present it. So at this time, I've moved that we table that discussion until the next meeting. All right. Second it. All those in favor? But so, um, our ratio, our mill rate's not going to include the school yet, right? This is just, this is different than, than the mill rate. That's, oh. that's the current mill rate. 1822, 1822. So with the school? Yeah. Okay. All right. We have no quick claim deeds, no abatements, no public for a second comment, um, no executive session. Is there any other business non agenda items? Make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say really quick before we do that, um, just as a reminder, there's an election in June. You can uh, we have open seats for school board and two open seats for select board, and you can still take out papers for that. Then you'd be back in by April 24th, 11th. April 11th, <laughs> April 11th. So there's still time to get those things done. I, our next meeting is. What is it? On the 11th. It's the on the 11th. So <laughs> by the next time we're around, it'll already be too late. Okay? So end of business day by the 11th. Um, those papers need to be in. So if you're interested, please see the town clerk. Um, and, yeah, there's a motion to adjourn. I will second that motion. All those in favor? Good night. Thank you.